We're so thirsty now, we're gonna go test it out. We're rolling. We're rolling? We're rolling. T poops. T poops. I like the name. T poops. It's a fun name to say. Whoa. You just had to have the finger on the lens. What was the, what was the bigger size? Pumbo. Pumbo. Pumbo big. <laughs> That's a funny name, but it doesn't make any sense. We're in Pasadena, California. My Blake Street here. It's really nice here in Pasadena. I love it here. Um, but this is the first time, uh, look, Halloween. It's Halloween the festive, uh, festivitous. Um, never been here before, been meaning to come. The name, the, the logo kind of looks like it's a 7-Eleven or something, I feel like, the colors. Maybe it's just me. Um, guys, I was so confused ordering from them. Very confused. Just, if you look at the menu, I was like, what am I looking at? Because it's just all the flavors stacked onto each other. And I was, I, I didn't know, uh, this is the first time I've ever been that confused ordering something. I'm, it's my first time here, I'm a noob at tea pumps But still, why, why should it be that confusing? I don't know. It was cheap though. With boba in this size, 375. Not bad. Um, I wanted just. I'm just realizing now that this is not. This is not milk tea. <laughs> I'm just realizing now. That, that's Are you how go confused. Back? No, that, no. I think oh, I you didn't order, order wrong. Oh, what'd you order? I was just that confused about how you order because it was like. What did you, you say? I don't know, man. I, I said I wanted the... The watermelon? No, no. I said I wanted, um, like, just uh, give me a oolong milk tea. And he's like, oh, we don't have any of our premium teas. I was like, okay, can I just... And he's like, you just can pick one of our flavors. You can pick up the three flavors. I'm like, I don't want to pick three flavors. I just want a milk tea. Uh, okay, watermelon. <laughs> I just said that because, like, I like uh, watermelon. Oh, so it's like a juice. So, yeah, this is just like a... A tea now. I messed up. That's I, so did I. I already don't. That's point zuck. I already don't like. Like, is that confusing? Is, am I am I a dummy? Am I a big dummy here? No, they didn't even have any other milks. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah, they. But their menu it. says it. Yeah, it says it has it. Maybe it's you know COVID limited menus, but still. But at this point, off, come on. Cross it off or put a little tape around it. But it's, it's October. Like a, it's like a poster. Just put some tape over it or something. Whatever. I'm, con I, I'm already pissed. It was cheap though, I didn't spend too much. So that doesn't hurt. Test these out bull balls deep, guys. I haven't said that in a while. It's been like two weeks, I think, since I've done a review. I don't know why, it's just like, the timing and, I don't know, I just didn't, I just didn't go. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> it's just, it's like, this is not, this is, this is not the same, I can't count this as a review compared to the other reviews. It's not the same. This is just like a Jolly Rancher watermelon drink that I'm drinking right now. It's just a sweet watermelon flavored drink. Yeah. What do I, what do I say to that? How do I review that? I can't review, I mean the boba's not bad. Boba balls. You want me to try yours yet? You tried yours. Yeah. Like. Well, is um, yeah, it's not tough. It's springy, bouncy, pretty soft. I mean, it's a good drink, but again, it's just a sugary water drink. That's all it is. For the experience, <laughs> guys, this has just got to be like like a five-two. Maybe I'm just. That's why it's a five-two. Pissed. 5.2. Pissed. <laughs> let's, let's get, let's get this. He's pissed. Don't touch that little thing. Don't touch it. Thirsty, how you been? For starters, I've been good. Have you been good? Losing good weight from not drinking boba every day. <laughs> um, or being able to maintain a decent weight. Yeah. Um, so this is a Thai tea. Yeah. You can't even tell because it doesn't look like one. It's pretty light, it's, diluted looking. Yeah. Yeah. It's it looks gross. Like 
Yeah, it looks gross to me. I don't know, man. I, I heard of this place, but just the, just the name I thought would bring some. It would just bring some. Uh, it's like a bubble ball, just like flattened out and like pulled apart in my mouth. <laughs> it almost like a what? one of the balls turned to liquid. The ball was doing acrobats <laughs> in your mouth, flattened. It just and then it became liquid. Opened up. <laughs> Okay. What do you think? The balls, they're good, but they're not in the right environment. You know, like this drink is so sucky <laughs> that the, the I don't want to even eat the boba balls because I'm tasting the drink. And that's what is usually good in a good tea. Yeah. When the boba, bobas are good because you're like, oh my God, it's bringing out the tea more. It's yeah. Delicious. Yeah. This Tell me like more. Nasty. I was upset. They had no alternative milk. They have a non-lactose creamer. Which is still terrible for you, first of all. Right. Second of all, we live in LA, everyone's a vegan, or at least 50% of the population is a vegan here. We need to have, like, you know, we need to have other. What models. if it was just today that they didn't have it? I don't know, but they didn't have premium tea. They didn't have, tea. that's true, they didn't have a lot of the stuff, meaning, like, they just Ulu? don't. Yeah. The Ulu? Ulu, Ulu tea, you don't got no Ulu. That's the number oh, one the thing Ulu. you need to have. <laughs> That's the number one thing you need to have. Yeah. So that's frustrating. This is already going to hurt my stomach. I know it. And if you look, <laughs> the reason why I'm saying it looks gross is because Thai tea should be dark. It should be dark like yours without the milk. Yeah. And then you put the milk in and it looks like this deep orange color. That's a good Thai tea. That's how you know they brewed it correctly. So what does it taste like? The tea? Let me take one more sip. Oh, you got a little pumpkin on the top. That's fun. Most Scary of these pumpkin. points are going to come from the cute festive tops okay so i'm happy about that balls are great balls are great balls are doing acrobats in your mouth i'm gonna have to do it i'm gonna have to do it i think my lowest score yet yeah like a five i don't even want to i don't i won't finish it you've had worse though right or it's just is it is it legitimately a, a bad Drink. I could give the, it a uh, five one. I could give it a five. No, you no, you already you yeah. already gave it an even I number. I could give a five to something that was like this, but like the balls are bad. What was that? What place was that? In Koreatown, that one where we were outside and we found that. Boba bag story. Of piss. Yeah. Bag of piss. Yeah. I'd rather have drink uh, drinking the bag of piss than the, the boba, boba story. story. <laughs> what a story that was, huh? It's just so milky of bad milk. Yeah. Good balls and like mediocre tea. You know, it brings it down to like. Definitely less than a six, hundred percent. Yeah. Definitely less than a five, five. Yeah. But one ounce better than Boba Story because the balls are good. You I can tell know. it's better quality all around than Boba Story was, but like your tea is probably delicious. My tea. Your tea is probably delicious. It's just not like yeah, it's just a sweet, anything. Like I said, it's just like a Jolly Rancher beverage. Like maybe something you'd find at, yeah. at Starbucks or something. Yeah. It's just a sweet something. Yeah, like a Starbucks passion yeah, fruit Starbucks tea. drink. The hibiscus. Uh, besides that, I think, I don't know, maybe I put too much of the experience into my rating. But it was a 5 too. Just, come on. I didn't want this. <laughs> I didn't want this. That's what I, what I didn't come here for. The guy was nice. I guess. I don't, I, I couldn't tell. How could you tell? I feel like I'm drinking I don't water. Know, I'm being mean. I, don't, I feel like I'm being mean right now. I feel now. like I'm drinking ice. Alright, well, that's it. That's it, guys. There's residue. Coming um, from Pasadena, the lovely Pasadena. The weather's still warm. It's we're in the ides, the ides of October, and it's still hot. It's pissing me off. It's been pissing me off the past couple weeks, though. Like I don't understand why it's like this. Stuff. I mean, I looked at the weather. They said it's going to be El Nina or La Nina. Maybe I said it wrong. La Nina. It's still. I don't even know what that means. You know, when El Nino comes around, it's like the big storm or something. The big waterfront. Oh, okay. Um. But we're supposed to have this for a couple more weeks or something. I see. Until there is a there is a storm of brewing somewhere up north, and it's working its way over here. But it's just, it hasn't come yet. Where was that storm when the fires were out of control? You know? I don't know. At least it's over for the most part. Anyways, that's it. Coming to you from Pasadena. Tessie's at Bobal. Steve, thanks for joining us, guys. Let's uh, let's get some more reviews in. I'm I'm missing my boba. Thank <laughs> you.